will discuss the prerequisites for this 8051 course what we are uh, giving the most important uh, thing that you need to study is digital electronics okay digital electronics you should study number system decimal binary octal hex conversion from decimal to binary or decimal to octal or binary to octal hex to binary okay so conversion then you should know the binary arithmetic binary addition subtraction multiplication division tools complement method of subtraction okay all these thing that all these thing are actually part of number system then you should know the logic gates and or not nand nor etc so once you know the logic gate you can understand the logic and the ignoring even that logic is needed in programming as well then you should know combinational and sequential circuits mux dmux decoder encoder okay sequential circuits actually you should start from flip flop d type flip flop jk flip flop and all that then you should know counter see the counter what we discuss in 8051 actually came from the counter in digital media. shift register now you will see the shift instructions in 8051 the basic is in shift register actually shift register is there inside of microcontroller but we can better understand how it is shifting how it is counting if we know this type of circuits okay given we discussed that decoder was needed in memory interfacing uh, we three to eight decoder and all those things. so then you should know yes then you will know 8051 what we discuss in the course apart from that c language is needed actually the c in 8051 is a embedded c but the concepts of c is needed here of course concepts of 8051 are needed in it means i can say that this c has a flavor of microcontroller we can have some special function registers those are directly used in embedded c but we should know what is c language like we should know what is main function how to write the functions okay then what is structure all these things those came from the c language so this is what actually the requisite is to understand this course apart from that if you want a hands on you want your uh, to can say assemble a pcb and make a circuit using 8051 then you should know the pcb designing that pcb designing we have softwares like ultium that has a student version available so you can use that student version ltm then you should know basic process how the pcbs are manufactured suppose you are going for simple single sided or double sided board that you can do using uh, you can say etching and printing and all those thing or you can order you can send the file generated from ltm to market and get the pcb done for you 
that that also that is also possible but for prototype you should know how we can make our own pcb we can have spin printing then we can have etching and drilling and all those things yes we should know basic soldering testing you should able to use dmm digital multimeter and all that in some cases you may need cathode ray oscilloscope to see the waveforms so all these things are actually needed if you want to make a project in x051 so you should start from this of course our course is actually this actually we are working on x051 i am assuming that you know digital electronics you have some background of digital electronics when i say x051 is a 8 bit microcontroller actually i assume that you know what is binary number system bit means binary digit when i say the memory addresses are written in hex i assume that you know the hexadecimal number system okay when i say that uh, 8051 is having arithmetic and logic unit so i assume that you know arithmetic operations like binary addition subtraction you know the two's complement okay when i say it has a, a, a logic unit I assume that you know what is logic uh, means what is anding, what is oring, and all those. So you will understand the instructions easily. You can say you can understand arithmetic instruction. You can understand logical instructions if you know all this thing. Actually, you can understand interfacing. Yeah, you can understand memory interfacing if you know the decoder. Okay, so. all this thing are needed actually i am planning for one more course on digital electronics that will cover all this thing so uh, those who don't know all this thing can first study this course and then come to the 8051 of course when i will teach 8051 i will give some basic introduction to c language as well and slowly slowly i will move to the embedded c for understanding embedded c first we will know uh, we should know what inside of 8051 what are the important sfrs so if sfr and all those things are known to you and if you know the c language you can better understand the embedded c language of course i will go and write a program in assembly language as well see ultimately your embedded c program will be converted to assembly and finally it will be converted to machine language. the language of ones and zeros which is actually understood by your 8051 control unit but we are see we cannot write the program in machine language in old days when i was in college we were working on 8085 microprocessor so at that time we were actually writing program literally on key it in machine language so we we write we start writing on a location and we go on feeding the program in hex and then we execute and check so at that time we were doing the manual assembly right on paper we were writing a program in assembly language like move add serve this type of instructions then uh, we follow the data sheet then we used to follow the data sheet and from that we will find out what is the code of move what is the code of add and that is what the machine language then we start feeding those codes in the memory of 8085 external ram maybe where we want to execute the program from that location and we then uh, used to tell 8085 that start executing from this line so at that time we were writing program literally in the machine language. but the writing programming machine language is a tedious task that's why we use assembly language again assembly needs greater details assembly need you can say knowledge of hardware too and it is we can say again not so much easy to write a program in assembly language that's why we follow higher languages like embedded c so but if uh, if you know all these thing you can better understand embedded c. so the basic concepts are important that is what the purpose of this lecture now we'll continue uh, other lectures as well but this uh, this lecture i am adding uh, because some students were asking what sequence or what requisites we should know to understand this course 
actually we are working on a detailed course of 8051 thanks for watching